So I think I got lucky and dodged a bullet this year. The igniter on my gas powered stove went out last week and the part came in, I was able to replace it well in time for Thanksgiving. So like I said, I think I beat Murphy this year, but uh, tell you what, man, I'm in the wrong business because this stupid thing here, 77 bucks. And all it does is heat that thing up to ignite the propane, like so dumb. But it reminded me of something that I put out or that I have been saying for years and something that I even wrote about in my book, The Battery Powered Home. And it revolves mostly around the off-grid rule of thumb for sizing a battery system for the worst day of the year, which would be December 21st, right? Because it's the shortest day with the least amount of sun hours. But I would submit to you that depending on, on your holiday, Thanksgiving was always the day that I promoted to size for because that's probably the day that you're going to have the most people over you're going to have the most loads going and murphy's law states if something bad is going to happen then it will and that's probably going to be the day that that everything goes wrong right you lose power or something happens to your stove right so uh you should always have a backup right a backup way um to charge your batteries and i mean the the sun is not always out you know my good friend ezra lives up in Canada, and he says there are several, there, there's a sizable chunk of the, of the year of, of this type of season where they have zero sun hours, right? So what are you gonna do, right? So if you live in the off-grid environment like he does, then you better have uh, an alternative source to charge your batteries if you don't have any sun. And it probably just makes a good idea if you are grid tight to have another way to charge your batteries if you live in an area that doesn't get a lot of sun hours during the winter months because that's when the, you know, the power is most likely to go out uh, and, and when it does, it has the most impact. Yeah, Unless you're in the desert southwest and the power goes out in the summertime uh, in Phoenix or Flagstaff or something like that, but that, that's, a different, uh, that's a different post. So so it's always good to have a backup, maybe even a backup to the backup, depending on where you live. But you can see I'm sitting here in front of my backup plan under my brand new grill cover here because it's getting that time of year. But if anything happens to my stove or anything else, I can just bring everything and cook it on here. And I also have my gas grill on the ready over there with two tanks of propane uh, ready to go. So hope this was useful. Take care. We'll see you next time.